there I go. So to measure the conductivity of salt solutions, I've measured out 100 milliliters of water into three separate breakers. So we're going to look at how adding sodium chloride, aluminum chloride, and calcium chloride uh, at one molar affects conductivity. First thing I'm going to do is to work out what the conductivity is of our plain distilled water. Once it settles, I add one drop. This is the sodium chloride. Add one drop. I'll give it a little stir. And you can see that the conductivity is increasing. Settles. I can add a second drop then. Give it a stir. I'm going to repeat this until we have ten drops. Drop three. That is our conductivity after 10 drops of one molar so, um, sodium chloride have been added. So now I'm going to move on to the next one and we're going to do the same for aluminium chloride. So I've just quickly rinse my electrode in DI water over the sink and move on to the aluminium chloride. So firstly, the measurement just of our deionized water before I've added any drops of the aluminium chloride. Add one drop. on the side of the glass that's just dripping down. Final one of ten. 
So that's the conductivity with 10 drops of aluminium chloride, one molar solution. Just take it a bit of a time to settle. Okay, so it's settled now, so I'm gonna rinse it again. And then we're gonna move on to our final one, which is one molar calcium chloride solution. Again, I've put it into deionized water, and so the conductivity reading has gone more straight down. I add one drop. Two drop. Four drops. Five. Seven. And ten. So once it's settled, I'll just talk you through the units. All of these measurements have been done in the symbol US, which is, stands for micro siemens, and that just works out how much the um, how many kind of ions there are that will affect the conductivity of a solution. The more ions there are, the more there um, in a solution, the more it's able to carry charge. So now you've can, got the results of your sodium chloride, calcium chloride, and aluminium chloride. You can compare how adding one drop of one molar of each of these salts affects the conductivity. So the ones that carry charge best will have increased the conductivity the most over the 10 drops.